Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and new gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Menix. And in today's episode, I'm going to be doing part two of the Extensive Beginner's Guide. Today's video is going to be uh, going over the first mission and um, what we're going to be doing with that. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to take that pointer and tickle that like button for us. It really does help us out. And don't forget get to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. Um, it really does help us out. And also, we've got memberships now on our um, YouTube channel where you can help out and join membership for, for more benefits um, if you want to help us out more. And I just want to give out a shout out to um, Mar Bauer, who got a supporter role, uh, Anna, Anna, Marie, Anna, Marie, Anna Marie, who also got a, a supporter role. Tankers who got the basic supporter role and Leo who also got the basic supporter role. Those are the new members that we had um, this week and um, we thank you guys and um, can't thank you enough for the for the for the support. So if you want to shout out in the videos and uh, some extra um, bonuses like uh, priority replies on comments and badges that we have, then um, you can hit that join membership button. And for those of you that are new to Star Citizen, the code dropping down from the top now. If you use that code, when you create a, a new account, you will get 5,000 credits to use when you get the game and you push me up in the rankings. So yeah, so we hope you like that one, guys. Right, so let's get into this. So I, last time you saw me, I came up to Port Olisar and I got out of my ship without an helmet on and suffocated outside. So you might have seen that one. But I wanted to start off showing you Port Olisar and how it's a little bit different from the other the other space stations I showed you at the end of that video. And basically, apart from the hab, the hab's being upstairs, everything's down here, all the shops and stuff, and you have to go out in the airlocks and onto the pads to get your ship uh, to um, get into your ships. But the good thing about Port Olisar that the others don't have is it has a weapon shop, so you can come in here and you can pick weapons up off the off the rack, basically, Hi. Welcome to buy the, the weapons, or you can go to the the kiosk here and buy weapons here. You can also buy um, drinks and stuff and your uh, grenades and your attachments and stuff like that and drinks if you need it, food if you need it. So you can buy all that stuff here and also you can sell your guns and stuff here as well. So I thought you'd show you that. Also, something I didn't get to show you last time was the, um, the little med pen thing that we have. So, I spoke to you about the med pen, but I never really did anything to show you it. So there's the med pen, the little red thing there on the, on my side. And what that does is, if you get hit, if you get hit a shot, you'll start bleeding out. Or if you get low on health, you'll start bleeding out. And you need to stop that um, from from um, from progressing. So what you do is you'll press C, and he'll put this in his hand. Now if you press your left mouse button, he'll inject himself. If you press your right mouse button, he'll inject whoever whoever you're in front of next to. So that's what that med pen does. It stops the bleeding and heals your health. I'm not going to obviously use that now. I'm going to store it by pressing R and then put that away. So yeah, you can use that. Also, I'm going to show you, um, I don't know if they sell them here, but if they do, I'll pick one up. And what it is, is a little med gun. I'm not too sure if they sell it here. Let me see. Personal weapons. Let's see if they sell it. I'm not too sure they will. Can't see it. Yeah, so they don't sell it here. And what we're going to look for is a little white um, med Feel gun. Feel free to take a look around. You've got a pretty. Now I'll show collection. you that med gun on this mission because we're, we will actually pick one up. But as you are at the moment, you don't need to worry. Just go as you are like this. Um, it's, it's all fine because we're going to pick stuff up. And over here, if you do want to buy new armor and stuff, Hi, then um, you can come in here and pick this up. As you see, somebody's already dropped a lot of stuff. Like, So if you wanted to pick up this helmet here, you can... Um, um, oh no, so it's just that's... It must be a bug in the game because it's honestly allowing you to buy and it's not allowing you to pick them up. So it must be a bug in the game, that. don't worry about that. But yeah, you can either off the rack, hey, buy stuff, again, or Welcome. you can come to the terminals and buy stuff. I don't think you can buy that white the pen here. Neither. No. So, yeah, so you can buy stuff on the rack here, and then obviously you know that by going into here, you can drop it all into here. And there's something else I'll show you here in the, this, um, this section here once we pick up some armor. And so basically you have your local, as you Welcome saw back. there, but when you put armor on, 
you all, the armor will also have pockets or, or, or space that you can put stuff in so you can actually um, use that as storage as well and I'll show you that um, as we pick some armor up so like I said all you're gonna do is go as we are like this not too bothered and um, and then go from there so what I'm gonna do is I am going to go to a terminal that I can go to here and I'm gonna pick up my uh, Pisces here D02 and what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, look at my missions I, I'm in Port Olisar so I don't think the mission is available the missions are available here so I might have to be somewhere else and what we would be looking for is a mission see we've got all these missions here now I'm not too sure if if um, if you'll have these if you're at a different place but generally you'll just have one which is a, an evaluation a, a delivery evaluation so what we're going to do is we're going to go to a separate a different area um, over at Microtech and that gives you the chance to show you jumping from one planet to another planet and but what I'll do is I'll push it along once I start the jump so that you're not sat waiting 10 minutes to get over there in the video but just know it does take time like about 10 minutes to get over there uh, and not all um, vehicles will be able to go as, as far a distance so you might have to jump from point to point uh, and refuel so what we're going to do is um, yeah so it's not in here that the start mission for that um, so you'll get like this like assessment you see that's what you'll get like an assessment one that you've got to do uh, certification but obviously they haven't got that for the box mission here so what we'll do is we'll go and, we'll go and do that so I'm going to go and get in my vehicle at D2, head out and then um, push it forward. Two, up there, up there. There we go, my Pisces. See, I've got the med bed in here and the water and stuff like that, so I can pick that up in here. So what I'm going to do is F1, and we're going to go to here, and I'm going to clear that route there, and I'm going to go to Microtech over here. So let's do that. Now, what I will show you actually is if it's if it's green like that, obviously you know you can do it. But if it's red, and it will tell you that here there's not enough fuel, what you might have to do is go to somewhere, Crew L5 here, and to Beautiful Gap Station here, land on the pad, and set your route there, land on the pad, and then, uh, and then go from there to the next one, and then to the next one. And that's, that's the other way around it. But I think more starter ships can get from one to the other, one side to the other, so you should be fine. That's if you did start here. So let's come out of this and let's get going. Let, uh, oh, first thing I need to do is make sure I do my maintenance stuff. So make sure I restock. This is where you'll do your fuels and repairs and stuff like that. You just click them and then you just wait for that to finish and there'll be like a, a red writing come across here to let you know, basically. So let's get this done. And as you, if you've watched the video before, you know um, I'll use voice attack, um, which I'll again I'll link in the description, and um, and so you not link in the description. I'll put a card up now. Warning: You are blocking an active flight lane. Please vacate the vicinity. Thank you, and please visit again.
So basically, um, yeah, I'll link that in the description and put a card up now. So what we do is we press B, and because we've set that route, there should only be one um, marker there, OM5. If you find that that's not there, uh, I'll show you when we jump to it. So I'll keep all the B to quantum to it. So if you find that the, the marker disappears or you've got to a point and there's still only one marker, what you have to do is go back into your uh, star map here and you have to clear the route. You just clear the route and then once you clear it, it comes back. So if I do that and clear it, all of them will come back. You'll see now all the markers come back, all the blue arrows and, and that come back and all the, the points of interest that you can look at. So I'm going to um, set that again back to the... Uh, where are we? Microtech, set my room and go. So that basically just takes it back to the one so I don't get confused with them all. And then once you your calibration um, here reaches max and this spooling reaches max and it both says complete and ready, then you can jump. Now different drives will take longer, especially when you jump to it. So we're 57 million miles away and this is going to take about 10 minutes probably to get there. So I'll push this along once we go into quantum. I'm going to now push this along in a minute so you'll, you'll, you'll jump basically to when it gets there. Um, while you're doing that, you can have a look around your ship and stuff like that. Just take time to make yourself a, a, a coffee or something. But yeah, I'll forward this along, guys. Right, guys, so... I've jumped back in here while I'm still in quantum. I'm 4 million miles away or 4 million kilometers away. I just wanted to let you know that while you're in quantum, you can actually get out your sea and walk around your ship. So you give you in the bigger ships you can explore and stuff. Just be careful if you're in one of those that you get in the from the top from a canopy because you'll just end up in, in space and your ship will float off. But just to let you know that if you have got a normal ship like this where you come in from the back or something, you can just walk around it while you're in quantum, just so you guys know. <clears throat> and we're less than a million, a million kilometers away now, so there we go. It didn't take too long. You see though, my quantum fuel over here is almost empty. So I'll have to go to a spare station and, and uh, top that up. So here we are coming into Microtech. Quantum drive is now off. Cool. So my, I've got low quantum fuel. So what I need to do now, we're over at Microtech. I need to get to the space station, set my spawn point there and um, refuel. And the reason I'm gonna set my spawn point there is because I, I'm i gonna be working around this area for the next hour or so. And just in case anything happens, I don't wanna be coming back from the, all that 50 million miles, uh, 50 million kilometers away. So just a quick note on these things here so once you got your quantum drive up you'll get all these signs now this square one here this 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 square one with the rounded corners edges is a space station there'll be space stations or uh, comms towers or whatever oh no just space stations the comms towers are different uh, comms towers are square so you, the space station will always look like that the home the home um, city will always be like that the upside down house type thing um, there I'm going over new Babbage there. And then your OM markers will be the um, diamonds and then places where you can go and land, like um, mining areas and um, little mining um, compounds and stuff, will always be these hexagon things here. Now, if they are dotted lines like these, it means they're on the other side of the planet. And if they're solid like that, it means they're on the side of the planet that you're on. And so you can look around at these and just jump to them if you want, just hover over one of them and, and jump to it. 
and then once you jump to it your thing will turn around and then you've got these diamond ones like I said they're the OM markers so the thing you, do, you can do is you can go into your star map and pick out the, the location you want or if you just see it you can just um, go to it there like that now you see that commodity price alert that just came up up here I wanted to quickly show you that I don't know if I showed you in the last video but I just wanted to quickly show you that so if you press F1 and you go down here to your journal and you click on that you'll see this commodity price alert thing has come up and it might not be here at the top all the time it might be somewhere down here it, it once it moves it, it stays moved basically let me just get rid of that and back into the journal what I want to show you is so basically when that comes up there it means this has been this has been updated and I will show you this more when we start doing the, the, the um, uh, cargo running mission um, in another video but just be aware that this price commodity comes up what it's about basically and what it's just telling you is there's overstock of this stuff here processed food and understock here and then medical supplies there's overstock here and there's understock here and when there's an overstock it means you'll there's gonna be a high chance that you'll be able to fill up big ships with it so like a caterpillar or an A2 um, C2 also, you know, some big ship that, that's got a lot of cargo. And uh, an understock means you're going to get a good price for it. So you get a good price and plenty of stock on the overstock ones. And you're going to get a good price of selling it at the um, the understock places. So just keep that in mind so when that pops up so you know what it is, basically. Right, so let's let's um, do this then. So I'm going to go back onto my Quantum and I'm just going to... And I can see the space station, so I'm not going to set a marker to it. I'm just going to go to it. I'm going to let it... Calibrate it up. And there we go. And then we'll jump to it by keeping all the B. And then there's your space station. So be careful when you're going into the space station. Say you push forward. You see the little chevron. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little chevron that'll come up here. Now, if they're pointing to each other, the chevrons, it means that you are going forward. And if you, uh, if the chevrons are pointing away from each other, it means you're going backwards. So keep an eye on that chevron because that's your... This, that's your travel basically and so as you're pushing forward you'll see the point to each other it means I'm going forward and then if I pull pull back and go backwards you'll see now I'm going backwards but even though I'm going backwards you'll see that this still goes up it's that because that's your speed it just means you it just it's not doesn't mean you're going forward you're going backwards but you're just going backwards at that speed so we'll go back forwards and you see the Chevron changes again there but when don't have your direction of travel basically on the space station because you may end up crashing into it so i'll always aim away from it but you'll see that chevron was still there so if i'm going it takes time for that chevron to move the faster you go but you so it means you're still traveling in that diagonal direction um to that chevron and to get it to move faster you press your boost button basically um to 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 boost and I can't remember what it is on the keyboard because I'm using a pad, but you can have a look in that key bind as I showed you in the first one. But just be aware that you can, um, don't, be go, go, don't be go heading into that basically, like with your chevron there. Now, the other thing is the decoupled mode. Now, I can't remember what, what it was, but if you turn your decoupled mode off and you, your chevron won't move, it'll stay where it is basically. Over, like say my chevron's there, it would stay over there. Um, as I move forward, um, because you not your your rockets or your thrusters are not um, balancing or counterbalancing to to um, stop with the sticks and stuff like that. So just be aware that your couple mode's not on and you don't end up going in the wrong direction. Keep an eye on them chevrons basically, and make sure that they're staying away from the space station so that when you come flying in, like I do here, you don't end up going flying into the space station and crash. Okay, so let's do this. Right, so it's saying contact ATC to land, and I showed you what that was earlier um, on the other one. You can come here to your friends on here, hit the friends, and then hit it here. Or you can um, press F and, and do it down here or whichever one you've got one. If you've got one like here and you've got only got a couple, you can do it here and go to your comms here, click your comms and then do it there. I've got a button that I've set on mine, uh, which is uh, contact ATC, um, request landing, I think it is. Let me show you that quick. 
and we'll go to key bindings, advanced controls, and um, I'll show you on the keyboard actually. So if we go to, um, uh, I think it's social general, it might be, no. Uh, is it social, not emotes, interactions could be. Let's see which way, if it's one of these. No. Uh, let's have a look. Could be social general. Did I just do that? It might be invites. Social invites. No. Okay, let's go vehicle. Flight, power flight, hood. Stopwatch. I'm just trying to find where it is now. Um, we'll, f we'll figure this. We'll, we'll look at this. Uh, vehicle. Because I've already set mine, I don't really look. So I might be in this one actually. Request landing. So le left alt and N you can press for your vehicle landing. Uh, request. So it's in flight movement here. You can set that to what you want. So if we go back out of this and return, I've got my button set where I just press a, a button on my pad and it will contact re landing. And then you'll see it comes up in a second. Please proceed to assign landing bay. So... Uh, and then what you're going to look for, obviously, is that little ship blue circle with the chevron thing there. And then we'll just head up to that, basically. Let's bring our um, uh, speed down. I never showed you that. So this speed thing here, this speed limit, that stops your speed. The green means that you're in SEM speed, which means that you're going to have more man maneuverability in the, in, the, in the atmospheres and stuff and it's going to be easy to handle. The red means you're just going to be a bit more out of control. And to move this box, you just um, scroll your mouse wheel up and down, and that will set that box there uh, for you, for what you want. I've got mine again set to the pad, so you'll see that with the pad I can just turn mine down when I need to. So let's go to this landing pad here. Landing gear. And it's F4 to go into third person mode like that. And if you keep all the Z, you can spin around it. Now, these doors may end up start shutting as I'm coming to them. So always keep an eye that, that that marker is still there. So they don't end up taking it away from you. And just keep your eye on your speed. There we are. Now, if you want to auto land, once you get into these boxes here, you just keep hold of N and uh, it will auto land. As you see there, I just did that. And it will auto land, which is a good thing if you're carrying um, quantum um, quantanium that you've mined in a prospector because if you hit the ground too hard, you could end up, uh, what's it called in? Actually, so what I need to do here is go back into my ship. Make sure I turn my engines off always. So our engines off. And um, keep your power on. Always keep your power on because um, it keeps your shields up. Um, so if you're ever in a place when people are going to attack you while you're out of your ship, you've got your shields and at least you've got a fighting chance. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to um, repair my ship and do my quantum and all that stuff. So click on this repair vehicle thing here. And you see that I can, it's going to cost me 38 credits to do my um, fuel. And as you see, then you get that red thing at the top. And now if I show you the engines, engines on, my quantum is now full. So that's that. So what I'm going to do here, doors. Doors. Okay, I need to resort my doors, I think. I'll have a look at that in a sec. Uh -huh. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set my spawn point here because I'm going to be working around here. But then once I'm done working around here, I'll reset it back to the planet. So I'm going to quickly have a look at that on the um, options, key bindings, advanced, and I'm going to go to vehicle. 
Um, where is it going to be? Vehicle, cockpit. And open all doors here. Is It's not been set for some reason, but it should be um, left shift and T. Yes. And what that does is it's just telling you other... So if I go back onto that, just quickly show you... Shift and D. It, what it's doing is telling you all these other other things that that that, that them commands are using. So you can have a look through and see right. So strafe right um, is D basically. So we're I'm pressing left shift and D. So that's not going to affect it. But then everything else basically, if it's not on the vehicle itself, it doesn't really matter. You see. So we click yes on that and that's fine. And then um, when I come back out in a minute, I should be able to uh, to sort that out. Quick look at this. Doors. I'm just checking my um, thing one sec. So left shift and D, yeah, cool. I'm just making sure that that basically is set on my thing right so so what i'm going to do is this is the not this is like the normal space stations over at the like over at Microtech and and this one is um a port tressler and then you've got everest harbor which looks like this and you've got bajini point which looks like this as well and we'll go to the lobby and what i'm gonna do like i said i'm gonna probably get a drink in here and, and that even though i've got them on my ship i'm gonna get a drink here and um, and that so basically when you come to these places if you're gonna be here for a little bit you could put your ship away so other people can use the pads and you just come onto here and you just click store and that's that's ready for you to get when you're ready so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my helmet off and remember to put that back on in a bit and I'm gonna get some food and drink so let's grab a nice double hot dog here we'll grab the nice double warm Show me drinks for some reason. Let's grab over here and grab a double hot dog over here, maybe. So, quick buy. So, she just grabs it. I'll do. And then you just press your trigger to eat, basically. And you keep all the trigger and it'll do all of it. And as you see there, now my food just went up, my hydration, uh, my nutrition just went up. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I don't think they've got water here. No, I'm just, I'm just going to grab a can of pop and I'm just going to. Um, quick buy that as well remember I told you in the last video about all this stuff as well about the, the um, having drinks certain things will do other things as well like dehydration and stuff like that and energy drinks will also do your food so just keep that in mind as well so we'll quick buy a drink come off that and if you keep hold of trigger your fire button she'll just drink it all but if you press it and let go she'll just take sips Let's stick that in there. Nah, just going to drop that. Place. We'll stick that in the bin. Because we're good. There we are. And we'll grab another drink as well. Let's grab another one. I'll we'll drink that. Get our health up. Our, our um, hydration up. Okay, 76, and then we'll place that in the bin again because we're clean. We like to be clean. There we are. Right, so in the space station, you'll have this um, your hub, um, your hubs are over this side here, and you've got like the going buying stuff and selling stuff over there. But then you've got your medical centre here. So if you need to check into a room, you come to these terminals here. If you need to buy anything from the pharmacy, go and find the pharmacy. And then um, you'll have an insurance kiosk things here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my regen point here because I'm going to be working around here. So I'll press F and, and access it. And then what we'll do is we're going to transfer my imprint and confirm that. And then when I'm ready and I've done here, I'll just reset my location back to Orison and I'll end up spawning back at Orison when I die next time. But um, just because I'm working around this area, it's just easier to do that. I'm not going to make this my base or anything. It's just I don't want to be traveling 50 million kilometers um, around here, you see. So a good tip as well is 
when we get these, we're going to do some looting in a minute. And when we get these med pens, the white ones, if you sell them here, you'll sell them at 50, um, uh, sorry, 700 uh, credits per white gun. Uh, but if you go upstairs and sell them at the cargo center or the um, the shopping mall area, you'll only get you'll only sell them for about five between three and five hundred. So different places sell um, buy things at different prices. So um, just be aware of that. The vehicle retrieval system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the um, uh, the Pisces again. Selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Hangar four. Okay. Hangar for so to, to go through this you have to scroll your wheel. Okay. If you see my head moving by the way, like this, I've got um Toby eye tracker on and Basically, it just means I can move my head and it follows my head movements. It also locks onto targets with your eyes and stuff like that. Um, so, But I turn it off sometimes because it might be too disorientating for some people. Okay, let's get in here. Engines, doors, doors, request landing. Requesting doors, request doors. Just quickly check something. Right, so I've I messed up my controls area earlier. So let me go back to my options here. I'm back to my key bindings. Let me just check this. So my requesting. Um, uh, where are you? My requesting uh, with movement on it. So, my requesting this here landing is supposed to be. Left shift and R. So left shift and R is supposed to be that. Yep, that's all good. Yep, that's all good. And then my doors was left shift and D. Let me just check that quick. Left shift and D, yep. Cup it. Open all doors, left shift and D. Yeah, so that one. Left shift and D. Is that one? So left shift and D. Yes, and we'll just close that one. We'll get rid of that one by selecting it and pressing that one by um right mouse to unbind it. There we are. So now if I say So now if I say doors, um I'll give it a second. Doors. There we are, we're all set. Requesting doors. That was going to set my um, ATC off. And then I said doors again. Doors. Doors. There we are. 
Right, cool. So that's all working now. So now I've just got to get it to um, request the landing and then it should be good. Let me just come off that. Okay. Requesting doors. Request doors. Take off here to launch. Here we are. Landing gear. So you see now, I'm because I'm, it's 318 is only just dropped, I'm having to set some of the settings because some of them have changed. So I'm just going through and setting those. Looks like someone's just been blown up. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to pick up a mission. So if I press F1 and we go down to here to missions, and we go to delivery, Thank you. and Please you'll see here now, we've got this uh, UDM delivery evaluation. It's 3,000, you can't share this one with anybody. Um, you can only do this one yourself. And then once you once you um, have done this one, you can then start sharing your other ones with other people. But basically, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick up this evaluation one here, and we're gonna pick up a box from one place and take it and drop it off to another place. That's all we're gonna do. So we're gonna accept this offer. And that's uh, and with this little pin here means it's being tracked. If you've got a couple, you can untrack them and track the different ones. So basically, here's the details of the, the trip and what we're doing. And we're gonna go and collect this package here at Shubin Mining Facility. And now you'll have a thing on your um, pod with a, like a little square box, as you see down here. There it is, you see? That little square box there. So it's where you're going, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, rent the starter ship that, you guys, that I suggested to you guys. So what I'm going to do is you'll see me now, but then I'll... I'll um, the next time you see me, I'm going to cut this. I'm going to have a starter ship. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm not going to go and get, I'm not going to um, fast forward it. I'm actually going to show you me going into New Babbage. Uh, there is um, timestamps for you to jump forward if you just want to go to that. But I'm going to actually go down to New Babbage because I forgot. It is a beginner's guide and you guys might not even know about New Babbage and the, how to get into the ta cities. So what I'm going to do is there is um, a guide I'm going to drop up now. Oh. Moved my mouse. There is a guide that um, shows you how to get into the space station of each of the cities. Uh, and that's coming up now on the top corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head down to the spaceport here and then pick up this this ship I'm going to rent this ship out and so this is New Babbage and the place you're going to be looking for is over here it's got uh, a set of light, red lights going across the top of it and then there's some white lights that go down the bottom of it some people will land down here and so they don't have to take the transport and stuff but we're going to just go straight down to, to the spaceport because that's where I need to go so let's do that so let's head down to the spaceport landing gear also this section here where these are that also goes into the space station as well so some people will come and wait here for people to pick them up and um, basically you just go upstairs into the surface entrance basically and that's how you get to the surface entrance and that's where you'll end up just for those people that need to, you know, come here to the surface entrance. And as you see now, you've got these white lights coming up. I know this might be overwhelming for some people, um, 
but you can skip to just doing the mission you don't have to come and you will already have a starter ship so you don't have to worry about coming down here but i just thought i'd show you me coming down to it please proceed to assign landing bay so he's giving me a landing sometimes you may go in the front of it where the white lights are or sometimes you might go in the top of it like how we're going to be doing now just take to kill some of this speed off That's being funny. Not connecting. There we are. That's connecting. Kill some of the speed off now. Get into that SEM, the green zone. Just jump in the top. You probably can't see a lot of it because of the, the clouds and that, but I know it's here, so. Doors. Landing complete. Engines. Landing complete. Engines offline. There we go. And I didn't put an helmet on, obviously, because I'm silly doing that. So I won't have anything here, so I'll have to probably pick up an helmet at some point. So let me just grab a, a water before I leave. In my fridge. Close that. Let's go. And I'll drink this water. You see there with the sips, you can just do sips. Right, so let's go. Now if you go over 100% on your water, it will add that, but it doesn't show it. And I showed you these the other day, these things um, for clearing your fines. You'll find these in the spaceports, clearing the like, level one fines. So let's put the ship away and go and um, rent one. Uh, where am I going to? Terminal, that's where I'm going to. So here we are, this is new Babbage. Let's click this. Welcome the Let's put the ship away. Store that. Be sure to visit now this is here, so you could, when you're at other places, you can just claim it back. And the good thing with that Pisces is you can claim them from the little outposts and that, where they've got little bays. So oh, I might as well take that. Get that, equip that. Might as well have an helmet for free. I need one and says we're going to buy one and it's the same type I had anyway so cool so what I'm going to do over I'm going to come over here there's a shop here if you ever want to go and buy stuff from the shop like drinks and stuff there's also this rental here now I'm wondering if I can actually get it here um let's have a look what we got no so all they've got is this Titan here I was hoping to rent the, uh, what's it called one? The, did I just see it? The Aurora, I can rent the Aurora. Definitely, I can do that. So for those of you that bought the Aurora, um, I'm gonna show you this in the Aurora, basically. So I'm gonna confirm this rent on. So 8,000, I basically paid to rent it for a day. You can change it from a day to th uh, three days, seven days, 30 days and then obviously the price will get reflected in that. So let's go from here and let's go and get that out. And there's Anna. Yo, yo. Welcome to the new Babbage Interstellar Space. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. And as you see now, we've got the Aurora here. It's saying destroyed, but I'm not too sure why. So let's claim it. It's 40 seconds Ready to claim to it. Located in the plaza, the factory line has all of Microtech's latest offerings. I'm off that one, go to a different one. From all of the other side. Oh, I was hoping there wasn't going to be like loads of bright light on it. 
Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. So this again, you'll just see these bugs like where it didn't show it, but it actually is Remember, counting down. Your belongings belong your insurance claim has and been I can pay a hundred and something to get it out now, or I can just wait 16 seconds. I might as well just wait 16 seconds. Sometimes, I think I told you, sometimes you'll have like a, a number here. So it could be two minutes or whatever. So this could be 10 minutes and then if you pay the money, it'll go to two minutes. You might as well just wait the two minutes and then pay the whatever because that's always going to be a lot less. Has been moved to our storage facility. Right. Please visit us again. Actually, I better get that out, Anna. So basically, I've got the starter ship to show you anyone that's got an Aurora. So, so you don't think it's about the ship. I've got that. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Four. So this is the ship that I started off with when I first started the game. The Aurora LN. And so what was we on? Four? I think it was four. Hangar four. Yep. So here she is, the Anger uh, the Aurora. In an open bay that someone's crashed in. Someone's crashed in here. I don't know what that is, so they've crashed in. Oh, it's like a, um, one of the, what's it called ones? The, uh, oh, the bird looking ones. I can't remember the name of it. I had one a long back before the wine. So here we go. So this is the Aurora. We'll go up into it. And then you've got a bed there. If you need to bed log, this is where we'll put our package. And, um, yeah. So let's get into it. This is how you get into the pilot seat. You have to go around it. There we are. Doors. And let's press R to turn everything on. Welcome to Robert Space Industries. And there we go. Let's go. We didn't have to request because the doors are open, so. So let's go. Up. Oh, push ourselves up, landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah. Landing gear. Let's go. So I've not flown an Aurora for ages since my last last one, basically. So getting out of atmospheres is a lot harder than getting out of at on planets is a lot harder than getting out of atmospheres on moons. It takes a little bit of time and generally takes you generally about 11, 10 or 11 um, thousand here to get out. Power shields. Power thrusters. So you'll see now, because I put my power thrusters, this boost will recharge a lot quicker. Right, there we are. So I can take my cruise control off now and we can go and find this. Um, mission we've got. So there it is, you see the package there. Here. Yeah. And it's it's already at the place there, so we just what's it called that? Quantum that and um spool up and there we are. We'll spin round, go around the planet. So here we are now, starting the first mission. I know it's a lot of getting around, but I wanted to show you wanted to show you guys like other stuff going on I have like I said put um, stamps in the timeline timeline stamps for this so you can um, jump around
So I always have my quantum on so I can see the distance of uh, how far I am from the location. But once you've got like this package one here, you can turn it off because you can use the package one as the thing, as your distance. Landing gear. When we come here, there should be like a little landing pad for us to land on. And we're going to be courteous and not check the big one up so big ships can come in. And we'll try and be to the edge of it because we've only got a small ship of the other one. There's gen generally two landing pads. Now, one thing to remember with Microtech is it is windy. So you'll see I'm fighting the ship now. That is not me being a bad pilot. I'm literally fighting the ship from the wind. The wind is actually grabbing me and pulling me. So just so you know that, I'm, you know, be aware of that, especially around my tech area. So what we're going to do is we're going to land on the edge of this smaller one. Now you can um, request a landing here, and you use one of these two pads here. Um, but generally, most people will just land here. And when you land here, you can also do the... Um, there we are. When you land here, you can also do the... Um, uh, refueling and all that stuff here as well. You can do all your repairs and your refueling and stuff here as well. So, you know, you can do that. Okay. So let's get out of this. Let's go and get this package. So what we're going to do here, we're going to get the package and we're going to loot. So we'll do the looting first and then we'll grab the package. Make sure you close your doors so somebody doesn't come along and take your ship. And the, you know, I do like the Aurora, but um, I got bored of it because obviously it was the first ship I had. But it's not a bad ship. It's actually a, not, a, not a bad fighter neither. It's not a bad little fighter. So we'll come to this one last because that's where our package is. So generally there'll be three or maybe even four places you can go to um, around here. So you'll have the, the little airport one which is over here, which is a little blue one. And then you've got uh, a sleeping quarters. You have uh, a working area where, they, where there's a man working. And then you have um, like the mining control stuff. So we'll go to this little uh, airport thing first. And here you can get out like land buggies and stuff like that. So if you want to go mining and stuff and put that in your ship or drive from there. And there's also small ships you can get from here. Like, so I could get my medical Pisces from here and the other Pisces. So some ships you can also get from here as well. Oh. So what we're going to do is we're just going to loot. And there's the, the base here if you want to get out of buggies and stuff like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to loot these silver or grey and uh, red boxes. And what you do is you'll get this this here. Uh, it looks like there's nothing in this one. So that's fine. Nothing in it. So whether someone's been here before us or not, I don't know. But we'll find out. So that's the first one done. And looting this, you can get anything, you know, all sorts of, of types of money. You can get... Um, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 just by looting like, and then go and, selling, go and selling the stuff. So one thing to remember here, you'll see here down at the bottom, you have an estimated uh, survival time. Each time you go in your building and then come back out, it'll reset. And that's just because of the, you see we're at minus 54 and the temperature. Some suits will have uh, better protection for cold. Some will have better protection for heat. So it depends, but we've only just got our basic on, so that's our time for this area. It can change uh, the cooler it gets, like if a storm comes in or something. So this is the terminal, yes, so someone has been here before us uh, just recently and that one's still open. 
me see. Oh. oh let me close it. Okay. Um, so here you have this one where you can put that you did when you pick up or drop off boxes and then you um, do the same at the other place or you'll put it on a shelf. Sometimes they might be on a shelf. This is the cargo terminal for the for, for cargo running. And basically what you'll do is you'll select your ship here, it's like the Aurora, and then you, these are what you can pick up on the Aurora basically and, and you can sell stuff here. You see this only has three SCU of cargo space. So you can pick up um, stuff to sell. Let's loot this one, see if there's anything in this one. So we've got something in this one finally. So pants, you can sell them pants. Uh, water, always pick up some water and stuff in case you need it. And um, flares if you need them for like in dark places, energy drink and food. So always pick some of that stuff up. Obviously you don't need to, if you've already got a couple of waters and that, you don't need to do it and, um, and, and keep buying more. You've also got a move all button, but we don't want all this other stuff, so. So this is what we're gonna do. We're just gonna loot. Looks like uh, someone may have been here before us. Can't get to that um, close button. So nothing I can do about that one. So you'll find basic stuff in the silver ones, the grey ones, and you'll find um, more like armour and stuff like that in the red ones. And there is also, they're not, they're not always long, the boxes like that, though you can get smaller ones. Some of them will have medical symbols on them and some of them will just be plain, which might have guns in them and stuff like that. So to the third one, and th this one's habitation, you'll see above the thing there. The one we just went to was called storage, and that's where, so if you ever need to do commodity running, you'll look for the big orange thing above it, and it says storage on the above the door. So we'll have a quick look in here, see if there's any boxes in here. Goes to Lou. We've got this silver one here, again. So again, this coat probably this coat could be worth zero, but it could be worth a couple of thousand. These helmets there you can wear with coats, and they're probably worth a couple of hundred. And the shoes again probably worth about a hundred. So we'll move them over. We don't need the rest of the stuff. So that's that. This room done. On to the last one now. So our estimate, estimated survival time has gone up now because the storm that we was in has passed. This game just looks beautiful. It's just such a beautiful game. Okay, so come in here. Sometimes there's a box there. And then there, sometimes there's a box. We're we'll looking in all these rooms. Sometimes there's a box under the desks there. So there's the package we've got to pick up. So let's have a look around, just to have a look first. Sometimes there's a box there. Or on the shelves that you can loot. It's not been great for loot this one. A couple of you. What we've got in this one. Again, another empty one. Someone's took all the stuff of that. And this one. So yeah, we can take them shoes, they're worth a hundred. That's probably worth a couple of hundred. Gloves are worth a hundred. We don't need anything else. These gloves are worth a hundred. Okay. Oh, and we've got this little flight suit here that we can take. That might be worth something. Or we could use it ourselves at some point. Yeah, okay, that's that. Last room before we pick up our box. And this room's empty as well. So now we grab our box and we take that to um, our ship. So our estimated survival is an hour. The temperature's dropped, um, gone up a lot. 
So on here we have to put the steps. Let's just put the steps. The box. To jump. And what we're gonna do is gonna keep press F, keep hold of it, and drop down to place, and then we can move where we want that box to sit. So we'll put it there for now. And that'll be fine there then. And then what we'll do is we'll close the door behind us. And then we're going to press I for the inventory. So this is all stuff in the local, which means once we leave here, it's all going to still be here. So we need to move all this to our to our vehicle. Now, back here before 318, we used to have to grab it and drag it, everything. It used to be a pain. But now 318, they give this move all button. So it makes life so much easier. We can get in and out quicker, which makes looting even better. So we are. Engines. So there we go. So now we're going to have uh, two markers on our thing. One of them is the box we've actually got inside our thing, so don't get confused with that. And the other one is the drop off point. Landing gear. Landing gear, right. So I'll bring that up until these markers turn blue. Once these markers turn blue, then we know we can jump back down to where we need to go. So I'm going to stick my cruise control on, let that go up by itself while I go into this. And so if we look in our contracts manager now, you'll see in our um, accepted here, we've got the, um, the, the value and this one's been ticked because we picked this up. Now we've got to take this to and uh, this emergency center on the on the planet still, so we're not going to a moon here, and then we'll deliver this. So let's do this. Keep going. Keep boosting up. Right. Take our cruise control off. Put that back on. Right. So like I said, you're going to have two boxes now. Like you'll see, there's two. There's that one, and there's one that, as we move, it just stays in where our screen is. That's the box that we've got on board. So don't get confused with that. So we're going to jump to this one here, this point here. So press B. Let it all spool up and then keep all the beam. And go. And now, so you can upgrade your quantum drives and stuff like that, so that all that all that spooling becomes quicker and you can go further distances, stuff like that, so. The bed on this ship means that if I wouldn't to, I could just be hovering around in space and I could just get out of my seat, go lie down in the bed and log off. And then when I log back on the game, that's where I'll log back on. I won't log on. I won't log on at the space stations or anything like that. Some people might like to do that. Some people, not so much. Again, I can take my quantum off because I've got a, a thing there to, to keep an eye on. So as you see, I'm not using quantum fuel this time. I'm using hydrogen fuel because I'm not quantum in around too much. So also I'll keep an eye on your hydrogen fuel as well. And we've got four missiles on this ship. So with seven out, I generally start making, keeping an eye on when we're 10,000 out. So we're at six out now. So I'm going to start bringing my speed down. Leave that. Don't want to meow while I'm doing this. So 
So we are this emergency shelter. Now this emergency shelter probably won't have a landing pad, um, and it's and it's probably may not be in a, an armistice zone. So this is the one where you're going to have to be careful because people will be able to come and shoot you here. So this is more like, you know, a little bit less uh, less protected. So we'll, we're going to land this here, drop the box, and do some looting here. And then what I'll do is I'll show you what the next section is for that for, from going forward from here. And we'll do the first section. We'll do the first one and then go from there. So let's drop the ship down. There we are. Engines. 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 Let's open the doors, grab our box. And then jump out of here. Remember, close that door. I'm sorry if you can hear my cat, she's in season. She's um she's not happy about it. So I'll jump here, inside, do the, the, the usual. And we're gonna drop this off onto a shelf. So we're not dropping this one off into a thing, into a, um, a, a, a unit. So, and you can see there, you just press F and it'll tell you to place it there. And there we are, we've got the um, completed and then they're gonna pay us basically from that. There we are, 3000 credits and that job is done. And as you see here, there's a red box that we can loot down here. So we'll loot this. And we've got, so this helmet, if you sell it at the cargo center, is worth 3,000, around 3,500 ish, something like that for this helmet. So I'll stick that definitely in your, your thing. Take that helmet and have it as a spur. Uh, if you want to, stick on the arms and then put that ones in there. So now we've got some arms there now as well. And as we pick up more stuff, you'll see like that um, you start getting more. Um, uh, storage space on your personal self so what we do is we've dropped that into the local and we're gonna make sure we drop that on our ship don't forget to drop it on your ship because I do that a lot I always forget to drop it back on my ship let's go up here back on the ship close that door press I take everything from the local move it straight across now we've got that on our ship to sell Right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press F1 again now and explain where we're at. So, back to Contracts Manager. So, the accepted now is empty and we've got a history here. So, um, you see it's all completed now and we've got paid for that. We've got 3000 for that. And as you'll see now in our Delft down here, now we start to build that reputation up. So, add that to your favorite. Start building that reputation up. No contacts as yet because it wasn't a personal one. But... We've started building that up now. So I've done the first one. So you'll probably do about five of the other missions before you go to this one. So these next missions we do are going to be worth 8,000 each. And then as you go up, you'll be getting missions worth 45,000 each. And then you just go up basically in these ranks. So go back into that. We're going to pick up the next mission now, which is a still a delivery one. But you'll see. Um, let's have a look. Is it going to? So you've got a 10,000 one and you've got um, a 4,000 one. So let's have a look where we're at. So this one is just recovering stuff from a derelict outpost. These ones you're going to have to be careful of because they are um, not as... Uh, you're going you're gonna to find people there, basically. So we don't want any of them. We don't want any of them. So where's this one? This one is retrieval operation, derelict outpost on architect, to leave them to the landing pad. And um, derelict outpost on architect, to leave them to the landing pad. Now let's check. Here's the deal. The client of ours who should have spent the extra credits and now who score had uh, their ships attacked. So basically, this means there's going to be people there and you're going to end up fighting. So we don't want that. We want to pick up uh, the next set of box missions. So I'm going to enter the pilot seat and I'm going to come out of here. 
and semi engines arm. Start heading up to this guy. Put my cruise control arm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back to the space station. And um, and then evaluate where we are there. Because we need to go and sell some of this stuff anyway. Let's have a look. Space station. So I'm using my mouse wheel to zoom into this. And use your left mouse and drag to drag it around. And what we're looking for is Port Tressler. There we are, set that route. My flat. That's blue. The space station, there she is. Bottom drive is now on. There we are. And let's get into that armistice zone so we don't get shot from the sky. And you'll know that because the little bullet thing will come up in the top right hand corner there. And to break, you just pull back on your stick, basically, and hit your boost button to boost that break. But I'm not going to call ATC. I'm just going to just go back into here and see what jobs we've got here. All right, so this one delivery route. There we go. So this is what we're looking for for our second one. So it's going to be picking up four packages from one and dropping off four packages from this so this one is um it's going to be a big one this one and that's why it's 10 10 000. so we've got to go to an outpost uh research outpost derelict outpost cantwell nyquist and then we're going to go to riari cantwell mining um so what we're going to do is if we accept this offer what we're going to do is we're going to as this all comes through, we're going to see where we've got to pick up stuff and deliver stuff. So if we've got to go to pick up from Ryan Accountwell, then we might as well pick up the drop off from Ryan Accountwell. So if we're going to, if we've got to drop off uh, 153 at Ryan Accountwell, then we need to pick that up from Riari Delta first. So, and then we've got mining, mining 18. Um, so we're not picking up from mining 18. And um, Keltag, we're not picking up from Keltag. And emergency shelter. So we was just at that emergency shelter, and then Quist emergency shelter. And Anvik, yeah. So basically the first one we've got to go to then is to um, pick up this one, this 153 at Rihanna Del Deltana. So let's do that. So into our map, skyline, and we are in Del Terra, and that is um, tells you where it's at on the job. Let me pick that job. So back into accepted here. We are uh, outpost on Microtech, so that's where we're going on, Mic on Microtech. So back into F1. Microtech. We're going to look for that. Ariane Delta. Delta area, whatever it's called. There it is there. Because I could see the 153. I'm going to set that route there. And let's pick that one up first. Because we've got to go and drop that one off anyway. So we might as well drop it off. 
uh, pick it up because we've got to drop it off at a place where we're picking up anyway. So this is the things you've got to start thinking about once you start doing these new missions. Now I'm going to leave the, res the I'm going to relieve the de um, derelict outpost to last because there may be enemies there. And what we'll do is I'll raid all the other places first, and then from there I'll come and drop all the stuff at the space station to sell, and then do that one, and then show you at the end selling all that space, all the stuff. Now this is a long video, and I, I know that, but you, there is things to jump across to different ones if you want to different chapters. Cotton drive is now off. So back in 317, what we used to do is pick up the first mission, which was the one box mission we did, and then the second box missions would be three, pick up from three from one location and drop them off in different locations, or pick up three from different locations and drop them off in one location. So this 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 one we've just picked up is new. So this must be the way they're doing it now. So this one's going to be in an Amasis Storm, so we can do some raiding here. I think the sun's just about to go down, so it might start going night time here. Starting to get a bit windy as well. Now if you need to, because it's dark, you can press tab to do your ping. And you'll get a lay of the land like that. Also you can press L for your top lights on your ship as well but sometimes like in these windy areas it comes too much so let's sit on the edge of this landing pad again in small ships you can actually just land here down here if you want so i'll do that actually but the ground might be a little bit unstable so just be aware of that engines Okay, let's do this. So let's do the raiding uh, away from where we're going to pick up the box, pick up the box last and do that one last. So again, there's the terminal for buying and there's a drop off point if you're ever dropping boxes here. So nothing to loot in here. Sometimes they're under them desks uh, or in this corner here on top of that machine there, but none here at the moment. So we'll come back over this one after. Let's take this one first. So the temperature's still in the white at minus 30 years, so there is no timer for survival on this one. What have we got in here? So we've got a white box here. It's been opened, so someone's been here, it looks like. Yeah, someone's been here. In this one, no, 
So again, we don't need the drinks. We'll take that tractor beam. I'll show you about tractor beams when I can. So we'll take that. We don't need any of the other stuff because we've got waters and stuff. Anything around here? No. Okay, so let's move on to the next one. So we'll do this blue one first and then we'll go to the box. Two boxes in here. So what we've got. And again, apart from this out, it's probably worth a hundred. And then this one, again, looks like it's been looted around here again. Take that, because that'll be worth a couple hundred. Take that. So we've got this tractor beam now. So I'll 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 put that on and show you this tractor beam. So if I press I on the in if I press I on the inventory take this tractor beam I can drop that onto my side there and grab this tractor true hull tractor beam here and drag that and put drag that onto it and so that means then when I press 4 I've now got a tractor beam and I can use this in an armistice zone so for those who played before, uh, before 318 you couldn't use a tractor beam in an armistice zone but now you can I'm not too sure if it's the same for the med, uh, white med things, but I'll find out once I pick one up. But yeah, so now you can, like the box I'll show you now, I can use the tractor beam to grab the box now instead of carrying it. And so with the tractor beam, if I press 4 and bring it out, if I keep hold of F, you can go on to here, but I think also if I use um, F4, no, it's F, um, I can't remember what it was now. Oh, I don't want that. Um, if I keep hold of F, you can go to here to customize. And you can have different canisters in here, like for, for uh, salvaging or for medical or whatever. And then you can click this one and you can add, you used to be able to, I don't know if you can now, but you used to be able to add a few different multi-tool, a few different ones on here. Um, and it would add them into here and then you just literally select each one that you wanted. But basically that's where you can change them. If you wanted to use this for mining, you could do. If you wanted it as a medical thing, you can do. You just got to drag, drag the right things into it. Um, and I, when I say right things, I mean these. So if I was to drag that in it, would it? Yeah. So it's put that that one back into the to the thing. So if I press on that again now, come off I press on F again. Go back to customize. So now it's got the lifeguard one in there. As you see. But yeah, for some reason it's not. It doesn't allow you now to um, to have mul uh, multiple ones in there. But it used to. So I want the tractor beam anyway. So I'm going to drag that and put that on there because I want the tractor beam on there. And now I've got that tractor beam. Have I got the tractor beam? No. So let me do that again. Drag the tractor beam. Put it on there. Hi. There we are, now it's him. So now I've got the tractor beam on there, keep all of our, put that away and let's go to the box. So we'll loot first and then we'll um, grab the box and I'll show you that. Normally one there, but not now. Look around, through all the doors. Nothing in this one. So there's our package over there. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. And then we'll have a look around here. So there's a box there. We'll check that in a minute, but I always go around and have a look first, just to make sure there's none anywhere else. Uh, so there's just this one here. And what we got in here, let's have a look. Oh, Lord. 
So we've got some legs and we've got some more on. Um, so we'll take that and we'll put the legs on by double clicking it. And now you sh yeah, you'll see I've got a leg armor compartment now. So not only do I have the local, I have a leg armor compartment. But you'll see here it's only 6,000 capacity, whereas this is, this is, you know, massive amounts of capacity. I'm using 1%. So on there, like, that, that hat there will only take, it will already take 54. So it's good for things like, small things like this, where it only takes six, and you want to just carry a couple of these around with you, rather than putting them on your, your thing. So I've had them on there, that's, you know, taking up that much. But then it's stored in your legs rather than your local or, or whatever. And you can get backpacks with bigger, bigger ones and stuff like that, so do this so what i'm going to do now this time instead of grabbing the box i'm going to take the box like this and if you um use your oh, if you use your mouse wheel here you can bring it forward and backwards so yeah so let's do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to head over here and i'm going to grab it bring it into me open the doors, grab that, take it with us, Ooh. and again drop that there, open the door, probably easier, like it's, I'm only showing you this way because like I want you to see this, um, if one box is probably just easy just to grab and take, but I just wanted to show you this. Drop that there, open that, break that, put it inside. Oh yeah. And then let's put this away. Get up into the thing ourselves. Close our door. And then remember, pull all your stuff across into your vehicle. So now it's set to personal because that I've got them legs on. So always remember you're putting it in the to the correct one. So we want to move all there to that personal there. Some reason it's having an issue with that. I don't know why. That's fine. Right, so we've got our box on the floor there. Let's go to the next location. Go to the next location. So this one we're gonna drop off. Engines on. Engines. We're gonna oh. drop this one off at, and pick one off at, at the same place. So let's do that. So we are about to accept it. So we've got the first one. We're going to deliver that one to Cantel. And then obviously we're going to pick up here as well, this one. So let's do that. Let's set our, our location for that to Cantel. Campwell or whatever it's called. Play that route. Um, so we want here, pick up package, pick up package. Um, I didn't, because I'm silly, I didn't check. So let's go back to the, the and back to um, that one, and it is on Cleo. So look for Cleo, that's what we, that's what I was looking at. So back on here, and then we're going to go to the Moon Cleo, basically. So there it is, there's Moon Cleo. Right right mouse to move, keep hold of it to move, and left mouse to, to tilt and stuff. So let's double click onto that, and we're going to look for Rihanna there. Can't well. I'm going to set that route. Not letting us set the route, so we'll have to come out of the atmosphere first to do that. Let's do that. Take off complete. Landing gear. Landing gear. Landing gear. It's almost like my thing stopped listening to me. That's the time. Oh, don't want to be doing that. Just floating around in space here. Okay, let's get on to this. Landing gear. Right, my voice thing stopped talking. I'm listening to me, so I'll do it by pad. 
and the gear rate. Let's go up then into the atmosphere. So always keep an eye here on this. Obviously up to 90 means you're going straight up. So you might think it's taking ages to go somewhere, but it could be just that basically that you're not angled up to, to push up. So all I'm doing is waiting for these to turn blue. Once they turn blue, we know we can mind them. We can jump to them. Right. Okay. Let's see. If we can um, get to it now. We're going to Cleo. Is that right? No. So I'll have to find Cleo and jump to it. I might have to go around the planet, basically. So it's saying my thing is saying there's no mic. There we are. So now it should be listening. Right, okay, so I'm gonna have to find this myself. Um, you see now that all the things have disappeared. I have to go back into my skyline and I have to clear, even though there's no route there, I have to clear that route. Press clear on it and then it should bring them all back. No, it's not. But there's the thing that I've got to go to, which is off planet. So let me go to here again. Clear room. Off that, does it now? No, not let me do it. So, this again is going to be troubleshooting, trying to figure this out. Can I go to that? Set route to that, I can to that, and then clear route. Now they're all back. So, again, just troubleshooting the way through it. So, I am for the obstructed. So, what I'm going to do is just jump out again. Um, I'm just gonna jump to a point. So I'll jump to Crew Alfie, but I won't go to Crew Alfie. What as, as I get past the planet, I'll jump down. There. I'll um, cancel it. And the way you cancel the jump is the same way you go into a jump. You keep hold of it, and it and it cancels it like that. So that's that now, so I can now go back into my star map and clear that room. And then just basically that will just be there and then as it is that that will clear where I need to go. This is why it's best setting a route because if it gets hold of a different location it, it cancels the one you're doing. 
So here we go, adding over to Clio. Right, so where are we at? Got to drop this off. Rayani. So there he is. There it is. So let's go on, head down to this one. So dropping off here and picking up here, two things. So we'll drop off first and then pick up the other one and then do the looting. And the one thing to remember with moons is the atmosphere is less um, restricted. So you're gonna move a lot faster, so be careful. So when I get to 10 kilometers, then I'll start thinking about backing off. Keep an eye on it and how fast it's going down. But because I'm not going full power, the, the little red chevron on my velocity is not full, I'm not having to worry about it. For them lights. There they are. Again, we'll land on a landing pad or nearby. So we're dropping off and, and picking up at the same place, so let's do that. Drop it, land here. Oh. You see the wind is picking me up. The wind, that's the wind is dragging me. So what I'm going to do this time is different. I'm going to grab the box this time. Uh, I'm going to put this one put this one away and grab the other one. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this one like this. Remember, close your thing. She's not letting me grab this one, so. The wind is strong here. Now. So there we are, so we've got to put this box here, so press F onto that, and I'm going to have to do it this way, I think, hopefully let's me do it this way, no, oh, it's not going to let me,
not let me. So there's the one we've got to pick up, and there's some boxes there. So it looks like this one is crashed on me. Not crashed, but gonna give me issues because I can't. I can't, what's it called? Get out. Right, I'm going to do some looting and we'll figure this one out in a bit. So I'm going to take... Oh, i take that helmet, move it across to the local. And I'm going to put that on. And you'll see now I've got more things on my personal. There. So... Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I don't understand why that's not letting me do that. I'm going to take this one. This one here. Oh, yeah, let's jump back out. Just gonna do some more looting. I'm not gonna leave that open. Don't leave that open, guys. People will nick your shit. I've had it done many a time. Let's go looting. Yeah. So again, these helmets are worth 3,000, so let's stick that to the local. Move all of that. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, empty. Put it in here. White box here. So they're worth about 300, so definitely want to take that. 100 here. 300 again. 100 there. 100 here. 100 here. Each of these is worth 100. Oh, a couple of 100. So I don't need any of that now. That one, yeah, a couple of 100 on that. So I don't need any of that. But it's there, you're going to need the nutrition. That's why I was saying you didn't need to worry about buying them at the point, um, back at the base. Didn't need to have to worry too much about it. Got any another red box there? Again, search around to make sure there's no others. Okay. Let's look in here. And we've got some more legs here. And we can um, take, let's take them, move them across. There we are. And another red box here. Again, a couple of more. That helmet there. Move on. So there we are. So that's that. That's one. Let's move on to the next one and loot that. So it looks like a double box here. Which one's it going to give me? So a backpack, you could put that on. Uh, for sure, and then we can move the rest to the local. Move on. 
So you'll see now with the personal, we've got uh, leg armor and core armor, and we'll have the backpack armor as well. Let's put stuff in. Another red box here. Again, some more. So you see now we've got the backpack, the core, and the legs now. So we've got three, these three that we can put stuff in. And we're going to take that and drop all that over there. That's fine. Cool, cool, cool. All good. Get out here now. Move on to the next one. So we're coming up to two hours on this video now. So what I'm going to do is deliver one of these packages and I might then just go to the space station and sell the stuff so I can show you that side of it and then I'll just carry on with this mission after that and just end the video basically. Because all you're doing is what I've just done there. You are going to just deliver boxes and pick up boxes and deliver boxes basically. And you're going to keep doing that until your reps up or until you've got enough money to go on to the next one which I'll show you, which will be either cargo running or prospect or mining, basically. You see I'm struggling because of the wind. Getting blown. It's leaning into the wind, basically. Now, this is bugged out, this package thing here. Now, with persistence, I'm not too sure if, you, if, if it would get rid of it or whether you would, um, what's it called? But sometimes I'll be on with a partner, so I'll trade the job to them and then I'll come back on and that generally sorts it out. I'll come off and come back on and that generally sorts it out. So again, some more helmets and stuff, so we're gonna move all that up to the local. And then we'll go over to this side. So we've got a lot of gear that we can sell and keep and do whatever we want with now. Move all that to the local. There we are. So that's the looting done in this one. So imagine you're doing this in four places. You're going to earn some money from this. And you're picking up gear as well. So you know, I've got a tractor beam there, I've got a backpack, I've got arms and legs. And I haven't spent money on them. They, you know, they're there, They've, I've got them. So. What I'll do is, I think if I log off, the mission will go. The mission will just disappear. So I'm not gonna do that, I'm not gonna log off. Can't remember if I went in this one. I think of it going that one, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, into a mom. So that drop off package is still there. I don't know why it's not letting me do anything with it. Let's give it one more go. Why it's doing that. Yeah, it's just bugged out, basically. Stick it on the shelf for now. I don't know if there's another way of doing it. The only way would be to log off, but then I think I would lose the mission, so. I think it checks that box to now. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think there's any other. It's just not letting me grab it or anything. So this mission probably may end up failing. 
in the end. Nothing I can do about that, it's just a game. But you can see basically what I need to do. So let's go and deliver this package anyway. Wherever we've got to deliver this one. Quantum drive is now off. So here we are, we're going to jump over to Cleepy Nam. Auto drive is now up. Now, this uh, mission is, is going to bug out, I think, because I couldn't pick up that box earlier. Now, there's only one thing I can try, which is to log off and log back on. I'll do that after I've sold some gear, but it may end up cancelling, so we'll see. So what I'm going to do is drop this one off, go to the space station, sell the stuff that I've got in my inventory, which I didn't move over earlier from the other place. Um, so I'll head back to the space station and sell all that and you can see them basically from there. So you've seen like, it's just some of the bugs here where I have to clear the routes and stuff because it's not showing the jump points, even though there's no route on it. Bottom drive is now off. So we are going to drop this off here now. Through the clouds. Keep an eye on your altimeter on the right side as well. We're at 1,800 meters. We should start seeing some lights soon, maybe. meters from the ground 
There's the lights. And what we'll do is we'll park in front of the building again. So we'll drop off the package first. So I always pick up the packages last, but when I come to a place to drop off a package, I'll always drop off the package first. Oh, very close to the ground there. Right, let's land in front of the building. Oh yeah, hard landing. So let's grab this package and deliver it, because then we can loot after that, you see. I know I've left my ship door open and I better not do that. I keep telling you not to do that. Someone will, that day that you decide, nah, nobody's gonna come, there's the day that someone does it. We did it once, we left our doors open. And we got on a C2, me and Kilthanis, and someone came on and killed us when we got out the armistice. So, so this time this should work. So we hit the drop off, and then all you'll do is just press F, um, tap F on, on there, and place it basically. And then that will do it. And then that should accept it. And that's that one done. So one of four done. So let's have a look around for Lou. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loot this place and then I'm going to go and sell this loot because I want to show you that part of it and then we'll, um, we'll go from there basically. And then I'll, I'll probably end this video. You know enough now from what I've done to, do, to know what you need to do. You see though the wind is quite strong again. So you just got to take your time with it and get used to it. And you'll earn your money from the looting in the end. That's where you'll earn your money in the loot, as we'll show you. Keep an eye out for the boxes. None there, make sure there's none here, so I'll check there. There's one there on that table, any around here. So there's one there, a mixed one again. So I think it's potluck, which one you get from the two. So we've got all of this, helmets and, and armour and stuff like that, so let's just move all that. Over to the local, and then have this one. Okay, set to the local, take all of that from the local, move it all over. Again, and there's just the, the silver one there. I'm, I'm, with these ones, I generally only pick a couple of things like the coat I'll take and the gloves I'll take. Um, be careful dropping them on th on stuff because it will swap them. So what you could do is go to filters and something like clothing or whatever. It's something you don't have much of and drop it and you still will drop it in there. Like It's just that you, it, you've got a thing selected so it won't show it as. And then the last one here, another red one. To the local, move on. There we are. And like I said, you can't see it's going over, but that's because if I take that off, they're all in there. Right, so next one. Like I said, there's generally about four buildings to do. Can't see the airport one around here. This is at the back. Oh no, this one's not going to airport because it's a brewery, I think. So yeah, you're not going to get. I don't think you get an airport one here. Like that, that I know of anyway. You might do. I just I made that up. So we've got a red box here, so you can loot. Some nice. See, I get another one of those helmets for three grand. Don't forget to put it on your, your um, ship, because the last place I went to, I forgot to put it on my ship. So I'm going to have to go back there and put it on my ship in a minute. But I'll cut that out of the video, I won't put that in. So there's a 
the silver box there. Grey box shows there. So these grey boxes, they haven't done it yet, but generally you get like these, but you get the white things, the white med guns, which are worth 700. For some reason they've not been delivering, not been putting them in, so I've not seen any of them, so. But they're generally worth 700 each, and it's a red box there. And you, um, again, another one of those helmets. These are worth three grand, these. And that's that. So I'm going to head back to the ship now. So you see that there's one delivery been made, and that's basically what you do. Shows my doors open there. I'm not too bad. Right, so what I'm going to do, actually, before I do, I need to come off out there because I almost forgot to do it again. Almost forgot to do it again. Press I and put, set this to my vehicle and move on to the vehicle. I move on to the vehicle. So if you get this problem, I think you just move one and then the rest of it should. Not moving. Ah, so it's looking like my vehicle doesn't is only old six hundred and something. So yeah. So the first thing to take is these helmets. They're the ones you want to take. Those helmets there. These are worth three hundred. So let's take all the armor first, move all of that. These helmets, let's take all of these. Take some of these in the personal as well. You can always sell them in the personal if it lets me. So it looks like there's some issues here. So what I might do. What I might do here is log off and log back on. Alright, so we've moved all of that. Can't move that, so it's fine. And there's not enough room for that. So let's take the filters off. in there well let's put that in there so it looks like it has moved everything into it so that's good but our, our vehicle is full basically so I'm going to have to go and sell this stuff I'm going to have to leave these arms here because um, I can't put them anywhere else so unless I take some of this stuff and drop these into here I'd probably rather leave the court. Vehicle. Yeah, I'll just I'll come back for them another time. Right, okay, let me come out the armistice on and do it. So basically I have to go up to stairs. I think once I bed log off here, this is the only way I think I'm gonna be able to fix the error that I've got. But um once I bed log off. Um, I don't think I don't think it's going to be there. The I don't think the boxes are going to be here. Yeah, right, I'm out, out of an atmosphere zone now, so I need to get up in the atmosphere so I don't fall to the ground. So let's get up into space, basically. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my engines off. 
Make sure I'm not falling. Shouldn't be falling because I'm... Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bed log off now and then see if that solves the problem. I don't think it will, but if it doesn't, I'm not too bothered because I've shown you what I need to show you. And uh, basically what I'll do then is when I come back on, obviously I'll... I'll um, you'll see then that the... Um, let myself bang my head. So here we are in space. Get open, get back into my ship. Let's um, hide the chat because we don't want to see that. There we are, F12, get rid of that. So here we are, let's get into the pilot seat. And as you see now, I'm in space. The um, the boxes have gone, so I've lost their missions, basically. But I'm not too bothered. Uh, it bugged out anyway. Um, so it's gone from the accepted, but it'll be here in the history you see that. It basically, it's what's it called? And because of that, now my uh, rating has gone down. So it's good to show you that anyway, that my rating went down. And now you see that this... Um, it's not got. I've not got any here now, and if I press F1 again and go back to the contracts manager now, and I go back to delivery, now I've got back to the four thousand one again. Where I'm just going to pick up one or whatever. So yeah. So basically, I lost out on that because of because the, the thing bugged out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the space station and show you um, selling the gear basically now, selling the loot. So obviously. I'm hoping like you don't get the issue where it bugged out like that. It could have been because I used that um, tractor beam. Who knows? But it bugged out and I couldn't pick up the box. There's nothing I can do about it. And basically because of that, I ended up losing the mission. So let me go to the space station now and go and sell some of this stuff. Port Tressler, set the room. Here we go. And if you remember earlier on, I didn't pick up some of the stuff from one of the one of the outposts. So there's a lot of stuff there. When I go back, that'll pick up. Uh, but my ship's full, so my ship is. I can nothing I can do about that because my ship's full. But I've got enough in there that I can sell, and you'll see when I come to sell it, basically what I'll make. And they've got to go to different places to sell it. There we are, and there's Tressler. Let's get to that. So let me know, guys, if you I mean if you've got this far three hours in, let me know what you guys think uh, of the video and you know, would you try this doing it this way? Remember use your tab for that. And you can start seeing things. Make sure you've got that chevron away from it as you pull forward. So what we're going to do is make sure we get into this um, arm assist zone and then you know you're safe then basically. At some point you may get scanned by the um, police. They'll tell you to, to slow down and remain stationary. So I'll break by pulling back on your stick um, or backwards um, S and boost and that will be here then. So let's get this landing requested. Please proceed to assigned landing bay. Okay. Landing Where are you putting us? Oh. There he's putting us there. So one of these things here. I think I'm upside down on it, underneath it. There we are.
Lance and landed. Let's turn our engines off. And don't forget this as well. Press I and make sure you take all your stuff from here across, basically. So we'll take it all from here, move it all across to the local here. Move that, move that, move that. It's all coming across to the local. And once this sorts itself out, we will do the same. We don't have to do that. We can don't have to move it across to the local because we can access the ship inside. So we'll just do that. We seem to be having an issue with that. Make sure we shut, close that. But what I would do is, if you can, is just move it to the local. But we can just access it all from the ship anyway. There we are. To the lobby and then put the ship away. To the lobby, put the ship away and we're good. Let's put this away. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Store. Nice Please done. visit us again. Goodbye. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Yep, start. Okay, Please cool. So first things first is where hydration is good and all that stuff, so we're all right. So let's head over to um to the hubs and that. We haven't got no white things to sell, so I would go down to the, to the medical part to sell them the white um, medical guns. So what we're going to go is we're going to go to the to the cargo centre first, and we're going to send the, sell those orange helmets. And here you can buy armour and stuff like that, the space station um, suits and packs and all the stuff you need. So we're going to go to here, to this little shop bit, and we're going to come to sell. And you'll see here all the stuff that you can sell from Port Tressler, so we can sell all of this if we want. These I'll sell down at the medical centre, but this one I'll sell here, and we'll do a quick sell on that. Okay, that, and we'll do a quick sell on that. Okay, that. And then we'll um, choose our uh, Aurora. And there's all our stuff that we got. So we'll see these helmets here, 2.7K, 2.7K. So we'll sell them. And what I'll do is I'll leave one of them in here for you. So we've got 1, 000, um, 199,000. So I'll quick sell these and I'll leave one and show you when I go upstairs, the difference in the price. And basically, yeah, so all I'm going to do now is just, just going, to, going to sell all this stuff and see what we get, basically, from it on. So these, this might be, we might be able to sell this upstairs. And that's literally all we're going to do is just basically. So I can definitely, I'll keep that. Uh, actually, I'll sell that one because I've got one in the thing in my pocket. And then I'm going to sell it at the med center type pyro multi tool. I'll sell. I mean, it's up to you if you want to keep some of this stuff. That's that's up to you, really. But um, I've got one, I've got one on my belt, so I don't need to worry about that. Um, that I can sell upstairs. That one I'll keep because it's not because obviously I can't sell it. So that one I'll sell. So I'm going to sell some of these upstairs. So these are two ten, and just see if there's a different price upstairs.
It's that cat that caught there, 400. Sometimes they'd be worth nothing. How much we'll sell upstairs? We'll sell all the slot upstairs and see what we can get upstairs from. Not too sure why these are selling, not selling. Oh, it's failed. Failed as well. I think it's because I've already sold them. Failed. Okay, so that's the cargo center. So we'll go upstairs and sell the rest and um, see what's it called as well to the medical center. And then I'm gonna call this video because it's two and a half hours long. But hopefully you get an idea of like the loot inside of it and you know what it can be worth. Uh, so we're gonna go to Galleria and we're gonna look for the clothing shop and the um, armor shop. So the armor shop is around here. Again, you can buy stuff off the shelf here or just into this, into this unit here. So let's go to sell, and um, we've got this sell mate there, 1.3k, we'll sell that here. Quick sell that. And let's quick sell that. And then we're going to choose the Aurora. I'll we'll sell that for 400 nod. 200 nod. nod. So that is still 2.7k. Um, normally the different prices down at the down at the uh, different areas. So, but well that's too that's good that they've kept it uh, 2.7k. So we can still sell that. So I'm not too sure if that you know they they've stopped doing like different prices for different places. But we're going to sell all this now anyway, and just not care about worrying about that side of it. And we're just going to see what we can earn basically. And like I say, you can keep some of this stuff if you want to keep it, it's up to you. I'm going to keep that, quick sell that. Okay. And then, so obviously I can't sell clothes in here. So let's go to the closing shop. Oh, big spike, I like that. And the clothing shop is this Casaba here. I'll go straight to the screen and sell here. So, nothing at Port Tressler here, so into the Aurora. So we can't sell, there's not worth nothing, so I might as well keep that. So let's sell these boots. I think it was worth 90 downstairs, them. And that's that. So that's all we can sell here. And then I'm going to go to the medical center downstairs as well and sell the other little bits we had. Another spike of lag. And then we'll see what we earned basically from it all. Um, hangers and halves. Going to the medical center, there's a lot of spike here, and then we're going to go to the pharmacy here to sell these things here. So I'll sell, and so in Port Chester, we've got these, so I'll quick sell these at 180, which I think is more than what there was downstairs. 180, and then the mine attachment was 100. I think that was more downstairs. Looking to improve your health? At Kelto RX, medicine isn't only There we are. If anyone sees and so that's that. A red striped shirt. Red so even though it's not showing anything in there, I could probably go down to the to the cargo center again and see what we've got left to sell. So maybe do the cargo center last because that, then you can sell all the odds and bits and bobs of that. 
So let's go back to the cargo center and then we'll work out what we've earned basically from, from when we've started selling and you can work out that then. Let's have a look in here. Sell. So what we've got here. So the gloves, we can sell them from 90. Might as well get rid of them. And then we'll go back to the Aurora and see we still do have some that that there is worth nothing they're worth nothing the drinks we've got and the bar and then this multi-tool and this lifeguard here so let's get rid of that oh these are the ones that were showing up earlier aren't they i was failing Next, uh... Right, so let's have a look what we've got. Where are we? So 219. So we made 100,000 from selling all that gear. 100,000 selling all that all that stuff. Rubbish, I'm going to say then. So basically selling all that loot, we made 100,000. So the mission itself wasn't the issue, you like the 10, 10K. That's basically only going to build up your rep. The main thing was getting the loot and selling it. And if you remember, one of the places I left a load of loot because the Aurora was full. I've never ever had a full ship. So it's the first time I've ever had a full ship. So obviously the different ships you can have, be able to get more loot. But you can see that if I'd made 104,000, if I did finish the mission, I could have also looted the other places and left that in the locals. And then when I went back, I could have picked that up. Because if I went back to that place now, it's all going to be there in that local to pick up. Plus any more loot that I get from it. So made a hundred thousand from just the loot alone, and then three thousand. Oh, it would have been fourteen thousand, should I say, from the mission. So I could have made a hundred and fourteen grand, and fifteen grand or something, from that. So yeah, I know it took a couple of hours, but I, I was talking through it and doing the beginning bits as well. But generally, I reckon it would take an, an hour or two, an hour, an hour and a half maybe to to do that, to do the. Um, selling and that so yeah 100,000 I'm sure I had 199 when I came in so yeah 100,000 from that loot so I'm going to end this video guys I hope you like this video if you did like this video don't forget to hit that point and tickle that like button for us and hit that bell and subscribe notification don't forget we do have the um, the uh, subscribers uh, the join membership now and um, you can do you, you can help out that way and you'll get shout outs in future videos and yeah so we hope you like that one and we'll see you guys out in the verse